Hello and welcome to the Matrixer with the attractive Jonathan and the likable Shiva. Yes, to another issue at the Matrixer. Today with the topic, what is our topic? Today our topic is plane crashes and accidents in general. How do plane crashes happen and who is involved? That's the question. Are plane crashes random? Do the passengers on the plane happen to be sitting there or in the car when an accident occurs? Does it all happen by chance? That is the question. And we assume that every single passenger sitting on a plane that crashes has agreed with all the other passengers to sit on that plane and then crash with it, right? Like a date they all agreed, we'll meet and then crash together. And that's not a joke. It sounds macabre. It's also an ambiguous subject. We also considered making a video about it at all, but I think you can handle it. And we also know that we discuss everything on the astral life before we experience it, and why should we then exclude a plane crash from it? So yes, a plane crash has also been agreed. That's the crazy thing about it, because the passengers on the plane probably don't know each other at all, or only rarely from everyday life. One is from Ohio, the other is from Alabama, the other is from Mexico, the other is from Argentina, the other from Germany. And so all these people get on the plane without ever having seen each other, and they all crashed on the plane, and there is not a person on board who did not plan to sit on that plane and crash with it. It's kind of a crash event that takes place and there people can register on the astral plane to take part in this event. This also applies to car accidents where people are killed. In car accidents too, it is agreed who caused the accident, who is involved and who dies in the process. For example, in most countries, it is the case that in the event of a rear-end collision, it is whoever hits the back that is to blame. Anyone who hits the back of another driver's car is to blame for not keeping the safe distance. So in court, you would say, yes, you drove up behind, so it's your fault. You didn't keep your distance. This is different in Arabia, for example. In Arabia, they say both are to blame because that is kismet, i.e. fate, and therefore both are to blame because both were in this place at the same time and were involved in the accident. So free will, in this sense, they have voluntarily decided to take part in this event, accident or plane crash. Sounds strange, because when you sit on the plane, you certainly have massive panic and don't believe in free will. But we also have to consider or differentiate between everyday self and the self that is denying what is happening. We can also say that some things do not seem to us as if we have decided that in everyday life, for example, we didn't want to go to Paraguay, and yet we are here now. So who decided that? Our everyday selves were not. So this was discussed on a higher level, on levels of consciousness that completely escape normal everyday consciousness. And so it is with many other things. For example, I remember a girlfriend whose brother was involved in a motorcycle accident and she called me one day and said, you don't believe it. My brother is in intensive care and had a motorcycle accident. And it looks like he will never be able to walk again because his spine is broken. Then I also thought to myself, who chooses such a fate? That's pretty tough stuff. 
and as crazy as it might sound, the nurse who looked after him then fell madly in love with him, and he fell in love with her. He ever wanted a really great girlfriend for years, and he never got one. He wasn't the prettiest nor the most successful when it came to starting relationships, and he never got it, but that was his heart's desire to find a relationship that was really lasting and solid and beautiful, and then suddenly he achieved that. And then you think to yourself, but that's pretty tough. Who decides to break through his spine in an accident so that he can find his partner? However, such decisions are made on the astral plane where different priorities are set than here in everyday life. Everyone on earth will say, I'm not crazy, so I don't want to be paraplegic just to get a woman or a man. But for some people, this is extremely important, much more important than perhaps other people. And there you can already deny such things on the astral plane or in higher states of consciousness. And that's what happened in this case. There are no accidental accidents, including the bereaved from, for example, a plane crash. They were also involved in the arrangement. So you have to make yourself aware, no matter what state you are in afterwards, that everything is free will and agreed. Sure, you still feel the pain or the loss, but it was agreed upon and wanted by everyone involved. The script for everyday reality, or for what happens in everyday life, is written and determined on such higher levels of consciousness. And then you say, then and then, we'll do it. And then this and that happens. The term it happens is really only meaningful in everyday life. At higher levels of consciousness, there are no such terms as suddenly or accidentally or by chance. There are no such things, not even something like luck or bad luck. These are all terms that only make sense within everyday reality based on our consciousness programming, based on what we have just learned in the course of our lives from our parents and friends and teachers in school and study. But in higher levels, consciousness shows that everything that happens happens that way because it has been agreed. And if you have a plane crash or have an accident in your car or break a leg while skiing, all of these things have been agreed. Of course, the nice things are also agreed, just so as not to always talk about accidents and everything is agreed. So even if you meet your new partner, fall in love with him, then that is agreed. Or if you win the lottery and receive 10 millions, then that's also agreed. So everything is agreed. Or if you suddenly happen to find your dream job. In reality, of course, it's very exciting when you suddenly win the lottery and discover, I've won 10 million in the lottery. Everything had been clarified long ago. But since one cannot remember these agreements in higher states of consciousness, one naturally feels very surprised and feels like a lucky guy or like an unlucky fellow, it depends. And that is just important to understand and understand. There are no coincidences, and there are no accidents either. In any case, everything is agreed, even if for example, you have a global event like the one currently taking place that is also agreed between all parties involved. There are a lot of people involved because it is such a big event, but that too has been agreed. No one can take advantage of it, no matter how we experience this event, whether peaceful and wonderful 
lonely in the mountains and only incidentally noticed something or to be right in the middle of it. Everything is agreed, who, how, what, why and where you live. Yes, even with such crises, such world crises or global crises, this is also agreed between everyone involved, even wars or an earthquake. If, for example, 100 people are at the center of an earthquake, then they have made an appointment at this point in time to add themselves to this earthquake, to be there, to take part. To some it might sound like a coincidence because I want to go on vacation with my husband at that time. How about beautiful California? That's where we are going to spend our vacation this month. And then an earthquake happens to come. No, the vacation was planned. On the everyday level also, of course, but mainly, of course, to be part of the event on the astral life. Yes, that's it for today again. I would say too, think about it. Definitely an exciting topic. Everything is agreed. There are no coincidences. Zero point zero coincidences. And in this sense, thank you for watching. We look forward to your comments as always. And yes, we wish you a good time and see you soon. Nice agreements. Take care.